Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Twitty and I'm the creator of MathTeacherCoach.com. Today I'm going to be showing you what it's like to go inside the Algebra 2 teacher community and I'm going to show you step by step what it's like once you join and what you'll get, what you'll have access to, the ins and outs, how to use things, so on and so forth. So what's inside when you join? Um, first and foremost we have the members forums. Uh, what are those? Well, those are where all of our teachers can go in and communicate with each other at any time they want. Okay, so it's a forum. So it's kind of like Facebook, like it's a, like a Facebook group, but it's only filled with teachers. So everybody in there has the same purpose and goal, whether it be a first year teacher or a 30 year vet or, you know, someone that's just looking for more resources. Um, everybody has something to gain in here because the, the best part about the forums is, other than you can communicate and ask questions, is you can actually share uh, lesson plans, worksheets. You can upload materials into the forums based on topic and share them with other geometry teachers. So maybe, you know, a teacher did this awesome project and they love it. Well, they can go ahead and post that project into the forums and share it with other teachers. Okay, so the forums is where everything is stored. That's where all the lesson plans are stored, you know, the worksheets and all of our all of our content along with all of the other teachers content uh, next on the list here we have standard aligned lesson plans so if you're a first year teacher you can go in here and have your lesson plans already done for you in the order that they need to be in common core aligned so they're already lined up with the standards you don't have to do anything other than teach the lessons okay so now I can go back to you know when I first started teaching the worst part of the first three years was having to create everything well, you don't have to do that. We created everything for you. All you have to do is show up and teach. So no more wasted time, you know, after school where you're missing time with your kids, your family, your friends. Everything is already in here ready for you to go. And we're going to go through, you know, I'm going to take you inside the forms and show you what those look like a little bit later, what our stuff looks like, you know, what you can expect and so on. Um, each lesson includes online activities. So we give you multiple online activities for each uh, lesson. So, so it's broken down into units and then lessons, sub lessons. And in those sub lessons, we have videos for every lesson. So, if you have a sub, you just you set, put a note to your sub with the link. Push play on this. This is going to teach you my lesson for me. Online activities. These, these are things that kids can do on on their iPads or laptops, or if you have a class set, or you have to take them to a computer lab, or they can do it on their phones. There's so many different ways to use technology, and we give you tons of different online activities to do with your class. Um, we give you a slideshow presentation for each lesson. So this is going to be an editable, okay? So if you, if you need to add or, you know, change or, you know, remove something or maybe you're teaching an, incl an inclusion class or maybe you have, you know, an AP Algebra, algebra 2 class, um, you can go ahead and rearrange and change anything that you want in any of these because we actually give you the, the PowerPoint presentation file itself. And then we also put them in there as PDFs too to be, Quicker. So all you, if all you want to do is, you know, use our stuff and follow it as is and never change anything, that's fine too. So we give you the PDF where you can just push play. Um, we give you a bell work activity for each lesson. What is the bell work activity? This is, uh, you know, a few questions or a short assignment that the kids can do while they're walking in the door, while you're taking attendance, waiting for the bell to ring, something they can turn in right at the beginning of class. All of our bell works are based on the previous day's lesson. So they can come in, answer those few questions. And before class even starts, as they're handing them in, you can see what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. How well did they master the material from the day before? We give you all of those for every lesson. The guided notes, okay? So guided notes, they're aligned with your slideshow presentation. So you, you're going to pass out the guided notes to the, to the students. And we also give you a teacher's edition with, of the guided notes with all of the answers and everything pre-filled obviously, but you're going to pass out the student edition of the guided notes and it's going to follow along with the slideshow presentation. So they're going to go through the examples that you're going through with the PowerPoint. Everything is lined up. The graphic organizers. Um, some lessons call for them, some don't. If it calls for a graphic organizer, it's in there. Okay, so this is just something to help kids with mastery on the content. You know, fillable graphic organizers that you can use in class. Every lesson obviously comes with a homework or class assignment. Um, this is these are, you know, 10 to 15, 20 questions somewhere in there, depending on the, the difficulty of the content, where you're going to be able to pass these out to your students, and they can do them. Um, you, can, you can send them the PDF version through Google Classwork Room, which 
if, if you don't know how to use Google Classroom or don't use Google Classroom, that's fine too. Um, uh, we, we can show you inside the forums how to put the PDF into Google Classroom where your kids can just literally write on their iPad or their phone or whatever and you can eliminate the paper completely. So this can be completely digital or you can print these out and actually use them. Again, everything's also editable. So if you want to make the make uh, take off some of the harder questions for, for your lower level students or you want to add some uh, questions of your own at the end, which you shouldn't need to do that because our our, our assignments are go from easy to hard down the page. So um, if, if you want to leave those difficult questions on there, that's fine. Okay, so with, with all of the, you know, accommodations that we have to meet as teachers with, you know, every, every kid's got their own little set of uh, guidelines that we have to follow as far as how to implement things for them in the classroom and make those adjustments. It's so easy to do because everything is customizable. Um, the daily short exit quiz, quizzes, these are you know, between three and five questions right at the end of class. So you can you can give them these questions. They do them. They turn them in. And, and as the bell's ringing, you can already see what they're going to need to work on the next day. Maybe you need to go in and add a question to the bell work on the next day, which is easy to do because, again, they're customizable. Or you need to take one off because you feel they already mastered this material. Maybe they don't need to review it again and waste time doing that. That's what these uh, short exit quizzes are for. So these are just like regular quizzes. They're going to take them, turn them in, and again, you can do any of this in Google Classroom. You can do any of this printing it on paper. You can do any of this on, a, on an iPad if you have iPads at your school. Um, all of this stuff can be customized however you want it. And we give you all of these things already in the versions that, we're, that I'm talking about here today. Um, class projects. Every unit is going to have a class project in it. So for example, um, I'm sure most of you have read our blog post on the Angry Bird project. That's one of my favorite projects to do with parabolas. Not only because you can do it with technology using GeoGebra or some other form, form or app of ways to teach the parabolas and, and you know how to find the different pieces of the x and y intercepts, the max, you know, where, whatever it is. But but there's also things that you can talk about physics wise as far as like trajectory and you know acceleration and things like that. So we give you all kinds of cool projects that you can do to implement Algebra 2. If you're a project-based learning uh, educator, that, uh, that's fine. Or if you use a project-based cu curriculum, we give you all kinds of things like that. Um, training courses with certificates of completion. Um, some of you guys might be a member of our partner site at geometrycoach.com. Um, we have a really good training on Google Classroom, which I've talked about multiple times, on how to use uh, Google Classroom to eliminate paper in your classroom. Could, could you imagine never having to pat to a student be able to say hey i lost my homework i don't have the, i don't have it i lost it my dog ate it whatever the excuse is could you imagine never having to use paper again because they could just write on the ipad or do it completely digitally type it in their answers on google classroom we show you how to do all that with our training courses and then on top of that you get a certificate of completion and all of these training courses are included with your membership so they don't cost any extra money or anything if you're a member you can take the courses, you can get the certificate, use it for your CEUs, you can use it for uh, your artifacts, for um, your evaluations, or, or whatever your state requires. And then obviously there's much, much more. You know, we're just touching the surface here. I'm going to take you inside the forums in a little bit and show you around. Okay, now let's talk about assessments a little bit. We give you a course pre and final exam. What is that? When your students come in, you're going to want to test them on the first couple days of school, you know, to see to see where they're at as far as their algebra skills. And then some states require an SLO exam or, you know, a pre and post test that's the same so that when they take the test at the beginning of the year, they take it again at the end of the year just to show growth. Okay, so a lot of states require that you show growth. We give you that exam over the whole course. Um, you know, and, and that's fully customizable with the answers and everything, just like everything else so that you can, you know, uh, take away questions or rearrange questions or, or make it however you want to fit your class or leave it as is you know it, it should be fine you know that's we created to fit the curriculum um, tests for each unit we give you a test for each unit obviously the units are broken down into lessons the compilation of all those is a unit um, we give you tests over each of those units um, then we give you a test review guide for each unit so the test review guide uh, the tests are generally 15 20 questions and then the review guide is 40 always 40 questions and the 40 questions you know reflect what's actually going to be on the test so they're the same type of questions same format you know so the kids are ready to take your exam and we're not tripping them up with different 
you know, directions they've never seen or things like that. Um, again, that's fully customizable too. Uh, daily exit quizzes, we already talked about those a little bit. Those are the exit slips, so we give you those for every day. Your daily assignment, projects, all kinds of things. We just, it, basically, if you need it or it could be used to teach Algebra 2 or to help your students master it, we give you so much stuff that you're going to have options every day. So you can keep your class spontaneous. You can do things the same way every day. You can have a routine, but then it's always good to you know get off that routine a little bit. We give you options with the online activities. One day they could go to the computer lab or use their iPads or whatever it is, and they could go on there and you do one of these online activities where maybe they watch a couple videos and they then take a quiz that they have to pass you know, in order to get credit for that quiz or whatever. But those, we give you so many different things. If you have a sub, we give you things that are laid out so, you know, simple that, that it doesn't matter if the sub knows anything about algebra or not, they can lead the discussion with your class because we give you video lessons of the, cl the class, the, the uh, lesson actually being taught by a real teacher. We give you videos for that so the, the sub can push play. They can pass out the guided notes. They can actually you know, go through with the students and, and learn it at the same time as them. So um, may, maybe you just have, maybe it's a day where you have, um, you know, a lot of papers to grade or you have uh, a student teacher or, or what whatever the, the reason may be. Maybe, maybe you just have to leave for one period. We give you things that will help whoever's replacing you. Or even if you're in the room, we give you things to help you, you know, get through that day um, when it's, cram for time or, or you just need, you know, a minute to get something done, we give you things. They'll always have something to do. You don't have to create anything. We give all of it to you. And next we have performance tasks, okay? Um, all, of, all of our lessons we told you are, are common core, standard aligned. Um, we give you the actual standard in the lesson plan where you can click on it and it'll take you to the common core website and show you exactly where it's found. Um, every school has different requirements as far as turning in their lesson plans and what you have to do with this and that. It's all editable, so anything that you need to change to fit your mold of your school is going to be so easy to do because everything in there, everything in these lesson plans is clickable links, so that you can just go to what you need to go to. Um, we do all of this. We all of our lessons are meant to be able to be done with or without technology. What do I mean by that? I mean, if you do use, if you take our course on Google Classroom and you decide to go paperless in your classroom, which, which I've been doing for two years now, my students do not use paper. We have iPads at our school and all of the lessons are done through Google Classroom. I can communicate with my kids at all times with my cell phones whenever they have questions. You know, that can be a good or a bad thing, but you know, I set the guidelines at the beginning of the year and the students know what they can and cannot do. And, and there's no more excuses for you know, why your homework didn't get turned in. I can help them with it as they're doing it with live Google Docs and things like that. So there's just all this stuff that we give you and, you know, any any way we can make your life easier, we want to do it. And, and that's what's great about the forums. If there's something you guys want to see, you know, all you have to do is bring it up in the forums and we make it appear. It's creative. Um, our geometrycoach.com site has grown so big now that we have, you know, other teachers communicating with each other in their to the point where we have older veteran teachers mentoring younger first year teachers, helping them, giving them, giving them resources or tips and tricks and things like that, classroom management stuff. So it's it it's really turned into an awesome thing. And that's what's you know gonna happen inside the Algebra 2 coach community too. All right, now let's talk about the resources that we give you. We already talked about the, you know, the in-class activities, the homework sheets, the presentations, all the technology activities, the project labs, rubrics, everything that we give you. You literally have to create nothing. We've told you that. Okay. But on top of that, the thing that the resource that we give you back the most is your time. Okay. You don't have to create anything anymore. So you can spend your free time, you know, with your family and your friends. You don't have to you know, be stressing on Sunday night. Oh, what am I going to do for my lesson plans tomorrow? What are we going to do? Is everything ready? Did I make copies of everything? No, there's no more of that. Your time, your most valuable resource is what we're going to give you back. Your peace of mind and time with those that you love. Okay. There's no better resource that we could give you. All right. Now the forms that we mentioned at the beginning, um, we're going to, I'm going to actually, after this slide here, I'm going to take you inside the actual forms and kind of show you what they look like. Um, I'm going to show you, you know, I'm not going to go into too much detail because once you join, we have uh, a 
a welcome video and videos that show you exactly how to do everything, what every button does, you know, where to find things, how to upload files, all that stuff. That stuff will be, you know, we'll show you how to do that once you become a member. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to show you the, the basics of what you're going to see when you get inside. Um, we Again, we have an online community, quick feedback. And, um, to be honest with you, the geometrycoach.com uh, website forums have got so big that by quick feedback, there's usually another teacher inside the forums that will respond and answer the question before we ever even get to see it because there's so many people in there now. And, and again, they're all geometry teachers. So when, when a new teacher asks a question, it, it gets answered fast. So, you know, um, uh, we have all kinds of shared resources. You know, we just talked about you can upload your own. Um, you can, you can uh, save all of our stuff as Google Docs or Word documents. So if you want it as a Google Doc where you can share it with your class, so um, one of the things that I like to do every once in a while is I'll take one of the resources from a geometry class, that I, the geometry site, I will put it into a, a Google Doc that I share with my class, okay, in my entire class. So I may give, I may split them up into groups. The groups can do individual problems, and, and it's really cool because I can project it up onto my smart board, and as the students are answering the questions, showing their work, writing on it, writing in that Google Doc, typing in that Google Doc, it live streams up onto the screen, and everyone in the class can see what those students are doing. So um, just another cool resource. Um, everything's customizable. We, we told you that um, multiple times throughout this. You know, you know, that's awesome because with all the accommodations we have to make, with IEPs and, and, you know, our inclusion classes and everything now as teachers. Um, it's, you know, better safe than sorry, so we can make everything completely editable to the meet your students' needs. Uh, both Word and PDF formats, we give you everything in both uh, formats like we told you before. Um, and everything is Google Classroom ready, obviously. I use all of our lessons um, in my own class. So, you know, I, I only use Google Google Classroom. My students do not use paper, um, and we show you how to do that as well. Okay, so let's take a look inside the forums here. 